Welcome to the QuickBooks University video training series. My name is Matt Holtquist. I'm a CPA in Greenville, South Carolina, and I run a website uh, called the QuickBooks University, where we teach you in 37 training videos how to use QuickBooks from start to finish. Uh, you can find us at qbuniversity.org. In this video, what I wanted to show you was uh, how to set up additional users in QuickBooks. Okay, um, a lot of times small businesses will hire someone and they want them to use QuickBooks. I highly, highly encourage you not to let them have your username and password. Okay, you want to set them up as a user and give them their own username and password. Uh, this is important because you can, you can restrict what they see in QuickBooks and what they can do and uh, you can also use a function in QuickBooks called the audit trail, which if you have questions on what, how something happened in QuickBooks, you can go do an audit trail report and find out who did it. And if they have their own login, then you'll know that, hey, they made this change on such and such date, and then you can go and ask them what they were doing. Okay? So very important. So. You hire this person, or if you just want to set up an additional user for someone, what you're going to do is go to Company, the Company drop-down menu, go to Set Up Users and Passwords. Okay, So you can set up a user, and you'll see here there's two users right now. There's always going to be an admin. Okay, We want to add a user, and we'll call this Employee1, and I'm just going to call their password employee okay I'm not going to check this box because I don't need an additional license right now okay so after, after we put in their username and password you can tell them you know you want to give them access to all areas selected areas or a new feature it relatively new is external accountant if you're giving this to your accountant okay we're going to say selected areas of QuickBooks, and it's going to take you through a set of prompts here. So sales and accounts receivable, do you want them to have access to sales and accounts receivable? This is entering invoices, sales receipts, receiving payments, and writing estimates. Okay, you can either give them no access, full access, or selective access. Okay, let's say that we want to give them selective access, create transactions only. Okay. And then you can also have them view complete customer credit card numbers. We're not going to check that. Okay. Purchases and accounts payable. Let's say that they do need to enter and pay bills. Okay. Or actually, let's say we don't want them to pay them, just enter them. Okay. Checking and credit cards. We don't want them to have access to any checking accounts. Inventory. We'll give them full access to inventory. Time tracking, they're going to get full access to time tracking. Payroll and employees, we don't want them to have any access uh, because we don't want them to see what other employees make. Sensitive accounting activities, uh, no, we don't want them to do any online banking or transfer funds between accounts. Okay, sensitive financial reporting, they don't need to see any reports in QuickBooks, so no. Changed or deleting transactions. We don't want them to be able to change or delete. It's up to you. And then it gives you a summary and says, okay, this is what you have selected. And if this is good, you're going to hit finish. If not, you can just click back and go back and change things. Okay. So now we've got employee one as a user. Okay. So let me close out of this. And I am going to show you now if I close the company and I log back on <clears throat> let's say employee 1 and employee was the password okay so now if I log in under their login credentials let's say that we need to write a check oh you need checking a credit card permission to perform this action ask your administrator to grant you this permission 
Okay, so you'll see it restricts what they can do. Now we did say that they could enter bills. Okay, so it still brings up the bill screen. Okay, but it won't let them do other certain functions. Okay, so again, very, very important that uh, if you have somebody working in your office that you don't want them to see certain information, give them that separate username and password. It's very easy to set up and uh, make sure that they can see and cannot see what you want them to see. All right. Well, come on over to the QuickBooks University where you can learn QuickBooks in 37 full-length training videos that are very detailed and show you from start to finish uh, what you need to know. You get un unlimited access to the videos plus all future updates. Uh, plus, we have some advanced an advanced video series uh, to help you with uh, more advanced functions in QuickBooks as well as uh, um, how to help you grow your cash flow in your business is one of the advanced videos. And uh, there's also a members forum where you can come in and personally ask me questions, QuickBooks or business questions, and I answer each and every one of them. I look forward to seeing you over there. It's the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org.